Uh, hello, and welcome to uh, my Let's Play of The Bellows, a free VR horror game on Steam. Uh, it was pretty, pretty creepy. Uh, this is actually my first time ever playing a VR horror game. It's actually one of my first times using VR ever. I bought this Vive, but I haven't actually been using it for much. Um, so I'm told that this game is kind of like a, sort of like a virtual reality haunted house. Uh, so I'm gonna... It says press to move. Okay, so it's look. What is that? I'm already impressed by how different this is. Also, sorry if my voice quality isn't so good. I don't have the luxury of having the mic directly in front of me. I will try to project a little bit more. Um, okay, I don't see anything. My spine is actually... No! Okay, this might be like the first time I've ever actually yelled at a horror game as mild as the... I am going to... Hey, let me tighten my headset again. I should really get these straps tightened. That feels good. Ah! <laughs> you had me so worried about this little creepy window over here. I, I just don't know what to do right now. It's a mirror. Jeez. What do you want me to do? I can't move, so I ain't scared. Also, a Steam review helped me inform, help with, informed me that there's no enemies. Yeah, Jesus Christ! Oh my God. Hey, how about a brief pause to see if I'm still recording? Will there perhaps be something behind me when I turn around? I'm gonna stab you with my key. Okay, just got some serious Bioshock vibes from that. Debooster! You have no face. And I'm trapped. Okay, I guess I have to pull the lever crunk. Yeah, that didn't help me none. Yeah! I'm expecting stuff, but when it's right up in your face like that... I... This would be extremely lame, right, if it wasn't VR. But because it is... You know what, I think I'm done. I I'm done for now, that's too much for now. Okay, so that was The Bellows, and... I don't like it. I mean, I like it. It's very effective, and it's free on Steam if you have a Vive or Oculus Rift and you want to try it out. Um, but I I don't know if I can do VR horror games. I mean, I thought I had gotten, you know, pretty used to playing them on PC, like in, in a regular pancake mode, but this is my first time playing a VR horror game, and it's a lot more intense, even while being lamer. Um, I don't know if this is something I can do. I mean, you know, this is a game with, like, no enemies. You don't need any reflexes or anything. Um, if this were to be, like, a real game, like Resident Evil 7 or something, if that ever comes to PC on Vive, I don't know if I'll be able to play it, just because it's so <laughs> intense. And I don't know if it's really going to come across in pancake mode, but, I mean, to give you an idea, I don't yell when I play pancake horror games. But this had me doing that, like, around every corner. So, you know, take that for what you will.